Hello everybody, it is Mr. Hardy, and today we're going to keep on reading New Kid, and we are near the end of this book. That is all we have left, guys. This is chapter 11, and today we're actually going to be doing something a little different. Chapter 11 is really short, so this is going to be chapter 11 and 12. But, like always, we're going to start with a review of the last chapter. And this is really a good page to review. We finally realized, or we finally found out, why Alexandra wears the puppets. It's to cover up her horrible, ugly, nasty burn mark, which really is just a little small dot. And Jordan was so confused on why she covers it up when nobody would say anything about it and the fact that she got it by saving her little brother from being burned. It's really interesting that that's why she has the puppets. Well, let's start chapter 11, Field of Screams. That's funny because there's actually a Halloween haunted corn maze in my hometown called the Field of Screams. I doubt that's what this will be about. Starting off with a journal page. The Baseball Hall of Shame. When spring came, we had the choice of baseball, crew, tennis, fencing, and some sport where you catch a ball with a net on a stick. That looked really hard. I've never played any of the, those sports in real life, but at least I knew the rules from playing Major League Baseball 2K6 on Xbox and watching games on TV. And there's his dad looking at the cheapo bin, because he always gets the old games. For once, Drew didn't know how to play any of those sports either, mainly because where he lives, there are even fewer parks than where I live. Park. And it's one flower. That's the closest thing he has to a park. The good news is, that they put us on the same team. The bad news is that since so many kids went out for the net on a stick game, they only had enough players for one lower form baseball team. That meant Andy was on our team too. Then we found out why so few kids go out for baseball. His name is Coach Jim Bum Duty. First of all, how can you not laugh at a name that has bum and duty in it? I'll tell you how, because rumor has it that some hot dog, that's what they call show-offs, made that mistake back in 1997. And the coach ate him while his horrified team watched, I mean literally two, swallowed him whole. That was one hot dog that didn't even need mustard. <laughs> now do you think this coach actually ate a student? I don't think so. Our first baseball game of the season. And I'm really going to miss Coach Roach. I know, I was really looking forward to the donuts. Now we're the ones who have to worry about being eaten. Yeah, our coach scares me. I hate how the first formers have to carry all the gear. Well, I hate how cold it is. Look at the snowflakes. Who plays baseball in the snow? Maybe we're going to use snowballs instead. Don't worry. I'll bet we'll warm up as soon as we start playing. Yeah, that never happened. We've been sitting in the snow for a while. Our first humiliating loss of the season. Oh my gosh, did you guys hear? No, we were playing baseball. You mean watching baseball? Headmaster Hanson just asked Colin's family to leave the school. What? Why, what did he do? They found out he went to Hawaii with Andy during Christmas break. So? I mean, I wouldn't go anywhere with Andy, but he shouldn't be punished for it. Yeah, going anywhere with Andy should be punishment enough. No, it's not that. The school is upset that he took such an expensive trip since he's on... On what? Yeah, tell us, Ashley. I can't. You know I'm not one to gossip. A public service announcement. Hello, I'm Oprah Winfrey, and I need your help to tackle a serious problem because there's something going around your school and you may not even know about it. Something bad. And the worst part is that some of your own friends may be on it. What are they on? Financial aid. This is Colin, and unlike many of you, his parents didn't inherit wealth. His dad isn't an investment banker, and his mom didn't go to law school. But despite their shortcomings, they still want the best for Colin, Colin, like sending him to a school like this. But they can't do it without people like you. Won't you please help my buddy Colin for just pennies a day? Yes, yes I will, Michelle Obama. Oprah. 
So this is Jordan's, another notebook or journal entry that he drew. Him acting like financial aid is such a bad thing because people at his school act like it is, when really it's not. Just like down here, it's so parents can send their kids off to really nice schools that they may not be able to afford, so they get financial aid. It's a good thing. And that's the end of chapter 11. I told you that it was short. So let's go on to chapter 12, Right Club, which is a reference to Fight Club, the movie. Two weeks later, can your mom make chalupas or is that just a Taco Bell thing? Don't start up again, Andy. What? Why is everyone always so sensitive about everything? Besides, I'm not even talking to you, Drew. Me and Ramon are cool. Instead of telling him it's okay, why don't you ask him? Relax, dog. I was only being a jerk. That's what you were being. You're just jealous that I got to play baseball while you and your friends rode the pine. Are you serious? I couldn't care less about baseball. What I do care about is that you think you can say and do whatever you want to people. And no one ever calls you out on it. You're always picking on me. And the only reason you beat me out for quarterback was because... Because what, Andy? You know, ever since Colin left, you've been ten times worse. And you weren't even all that nice to him, either. Oh gosh, you know these two didn't like each other. This was coming sooner or later. You take that back. Make me. Uh-oh. He slipped on an apple. It finally happened. They got into a fight. Let's go, Drew. I'm taking you to see Headmaster Hanson. Oh, so now you know my name. And I barely touched him, Miss Raw. He slipped. I saw it. Andy slipped on his own apple. No, I didn't. He pushed me down. Uh-oh. And at that moment, it all became too much. Too much of kids like me trying to fit in. Too much of kids who should fit in trying hard not to. Too much of good kids being blamed for being bad. Too much of bad kids getting rewarded for their mean behavior. And way too much of me feeling like I'm never in control of anything. Here we have a call back to the beginning of the book when he said he felt like he was falling. Until now. What's about to happen? Wait! Miss Raw. Drew did not knock Andy down. Andy pushed him first. Then when Drew pushed him back, Andy slipped on an apple. Come on, who else saw it? Um, that was the way it happened, Miss Raw. And he broke my grandmother's lamp. I saw it too. Me too. Yeah, Miss R, little man is right. That corny dude slipped on an apple. I saw it too. And for the last time, Andy, I'm not Mexican. I'm Nicaraguan. And I've been telling you that since kindergarten. Now Andy is the one feeling small. I believe them. I do too, Karen. Well, I... And by the way, this is DeAndre. We look nothing alike. Sup, Mrs. R? All right, Drew. If that's what happened, then you and Andy can clean up this mess, then go straight to class. But you'll both lose one of your free periods. Fine. You have Andy and Drew cleaning up. And then Jordan and Liam join in. And now we look, everybody's joining in and helping out. But if you notice, they're helping out Drew. Andy's over there on his own. Be right back, guys. He threw up. I wonder why. 310. Got a question mark. <gasps> Where did I leave my sketchbook? Uh oh. His sketchbook that he always has on him is gone. That's the end of chapter 12. So let's go back. A lot happened in this chapter. After 12 chapters of Andy. And Drew, just going back and forth, they finally got into an argument. Now, 
Now, what would you do if you were in Jordan's situation when your best friend is getting blamed for something that he was a part of but wasn't the full blame? Andy did slip on an apple, but he was trying to play it off like Drew pushed him down. So what would you do? Would you let Drew get in trouble? Or would you do what Jordan did, climb up on the table and announce the truth? Think about that. And also like how we finally saw who DeAndre was. And let's look at this picture as well. You see Andy all alone. I mentioned it earlier. They all help out Drew to clean up because Drew's the nicer one. He stood up against Andy for all of his classmates, so they all like him. And Andy's been a jerk this entire book. How would you feel if you were Andy in this situation? Would seeing everybody help Drew out, would that make you want to change your ways? Or would that make you even more mad at everybody and want you to be a jerk towards them even more? There's a couple questions to think about here. Go ahead and put them down in the comment section under the video. They should be turned on now. And in the next one, we will read chapter 13. Have a good day.